Predictive capacity management is a way to proactively address how to maximize the performance in your network, especially important when you're dealing with areas of high client density and a lot of noise that make transmissions very challenging. It's a new algorithm that provides some advanced learning capabilities to actually look at real throughput on the channel to assess which channel is the best. And it's important, if you want to select the right channel to maximize capacity, you really have to be looking at what is going to make it the highest throughput. Now, contrast this with what's out there today. This really fixes some of the traditional problems with the algorithms that are used by other vendors. The problem with the way traditional RF channel selection has been done is that it doesn't provide a complete view of what's actually happening in the spectrum. In reality, what's happening is a best guess is being taken using things like spectrum analysis, packet sniffing, you know, techniques that give you some inclining of what's going on, but really not the actual impact of throughput. You know, there's techniques for going off channel, looking at things like beacons, fires, all sorts of actually kind of scary stuff, but doesn't really determine the exact throughput that you need to see. Um, and in reality, oftentimes what the AP hears really doesn't determine the actual capacity of the channel. So you put all that together and really what you're getting is a guess at potential capacity, not really what it could actually do. Channel Fly is a fundamentally new approach to channel selection. It's another ruckus innovation for dealing with the impact of interference and maximizing your RF throughput. Technically, Channel Fly is an adaptive statistical channel selection technique that leverages Ruckus's patented BeamFlex technology. The BeamFlex technology allows us to optimize the signal path by learning which one works the best over time. That exact same technique is used to optimize which channels work the best over time. Let's take an analogy. We all drive cars on a freeway. And like me, I always switch lanes and end in a slower lane, just because I don't have visibility into what's going on. What Channel Fly does is it gives you visibility across all of the lanes and statistically is watching and figuring out which lane will be the fastest. Now, apply that to driving on the freeway, if it can tell you which lane you're going to be the fastest in, you select that lane and you get where you're going significantly faster. That is what Channel Fly is doing. It doesn't have to do off channel scanning. It doesn't have to go away and look for things. It always looks at the actual traffic to figure out what's best. It also utilizes all potential channels in both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So it's not limiting itself to channels 1, 6, and 11. Sometimes channel 4 might be the fastest channel to use. It also quickly avoids the impact of interference to get off that channel, get onto one that statistically is going to be faster. So combine this global view of the channels with channel fly technology, with beam flex technology, all of a sudden you start building upon a really good technology base to optimize the throughput no matter what type of RF conditions that you're in.